Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. We're back. It's Factorio. It's the island. We are alone on the island, at least for now. There ain't no biters around that are uh, potentially gonna mess up our day, which is which is kind of nice. All right, so uh, I did talk a little bit in the last episode at the very end about how we wanted to upgrade all of these splitters, make them fast splitters so that we I can upgrade the amount of resources that are actually heading to each little individual area. But you know what? I'm not too bothered about that. 13 objects are being damaged. We're going to manage to hold off there? Or 15 objects are being damaged now. Holy cow. That looks like quite an incursion. They're still being damaged. I'm going to go and pick up some ammo just in case because I, I want to make sure that we've uh, we've correctly ammoed up everybody, so to speak. Also, we're going to need to get plastic set up today because I'm, I'm sick of living in a world without robots. We need robots to do a whole bunch of stuff and currently, you know, we just don't have the capacity to do that stuff. And that's annoying and we're going to try and fix it. But today, I think that we're probably going to... I'm probably going to work on iron, to be honest. I mean, we've got... I don't want to, don't want to be in a train in the wrong way around. Let's flip that around that way. Yeah, so we've got this iron, or we've got a little. It's not a massive iron deposit, but we've got it. It's uh, it's it's over here. It's not too far away. We've got oil there as well, actually. I would like to exploit that oil if at all possible. And um, but yeah, six hundred and fifty percent yield over here. It's not bad, actually. It's really, really not bad. So I think we want to start working our way on this to make sure that we've uh, we've got oil. Also, coal is something that we're going to have to start importing. Um. Because, quite frankly, we just don't have enough of it. We just don't have enough of it. We're not going to be able to maintain it forever. And, uh, you know, the yields are not great out here. But, you know, they're decent. They're all right. So, I think the priority needs to be get the walls up. Get get something established down there. Get a little outpost established. Should be able to just drive straight through here. Let me just check. Oh, no, it's okay. I just drove past it. I was just going to check to see what was actually going on there. Like, to see if there was anything that was damaged that we could have fixed. But, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, so a commenter very kindly told me that I should adjust this and make walls at a faster rate. And that is something that I think I'm actually going to do. We're going to uncap this wall thing. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to increase the number of inserters that are actually going into this inserter over here. And I think it was, it was Peter Meech, I think, that made the comment on the video. So shout out to him because... We should now put that there, and then if we get a whole bunch of inserters, then we should, in theory, be able to make walls at a much, much faster pace. So that is kind of nice. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to be constantly making walls, and uh, yeah, we want lots of them. We want absolutely tons of them. Just uh, stick them out into a chest over here, and I'll take that, stick that down there. All right. Yeah, this is really good. I'm going to upgrade this dude to a fast inserter just so that we can constantly be making walls. But apart from that, I think that, uh, that that's a pretty darn good job that we did there. Yeah, pretty chuffed with that. Uh, we want to leave this uncapped. I think, yeah, we probably want to leave that uncapped. We're going to need a lot of walls. We're going to need a heck of a lot of walls. So get on it. Get on it. That, but that system should mean that we uh, we do actually have a lot of walls. All right, let's go over here. Let us pick up the. I meant to go over here. I meant to pick up the turrets. Fifty turrets. That's quite a few. It's really a very very large number, but it's okay. It's gonna it's gonna eventually stop producing them when when we've got like chests and chests and chests full of of turrets. But that's okay. Uh, ammo. We've got two hundred ammo on us. It's not a it's not a thrilling amount, I'm afraid. I mean, ammo should be produced pretty much constantly. Yeah, it should be being produced pretty much constantly. Which it is, but it's just not being produced as fast as we would like it. So I'm gonna quickly go and see if we can get some iron to upgrade our assembly machines, because let's face it, could really do with some more ammo. The more ammo that we get better because we're going to be able to defend ourselves a little bit better let's face it 
we really don't want to build an iron outpost for it just to be destroyed. I mean, that is absolutely not something that I'm interested in doing. So a little bit of a faster ammo production would be fine. We're doing okay for steel. Still got tons back, back, uh, backlogged, backloaded. I don't know. Well, whatever. We've got tons. We've got tons over there. Just, just chilling. All right. I think we probably have all of the necessary ingredients apart from electric mining drills to actually make a little outpost. I think we probably do. Uh, we're gonna need a couple splitters as well to load onto the trains. Yeah, you know what? I actually think that we we could be we could be looking pretty good. Although, let's face it, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do before then. And chief amongst them is try and sort out some of a system over here about how on earth I'll make a couple of train stops, but how on earth we're going to store the iron and unload the iron from the trains. So I guess that should be today's project. Let's try and work on that. Going to need some splitters. In fact, well, we're going to need some splitters eventually, but I don't think we need splitters right now. Fast inserters, um, steel chests, what else? What else are we going to need? Oh, we've got fast belt. We're going to need a little bit more fast belt. We've already got enough fast belt. My bad. I'm, I'm just going... I'm, I'm losing the plot here, folks. I'm losing the plot here. All right. Pick you up and plunk you down right over yonder. Wrap that in there. Move this forward. And fingers crossed I should be able to navigate... Is this going to go? No, it's not going to go. This way. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let's move this train backwards. That's very, very good. Fingers crossed we've made this lay by long enough. I don't think we've made it long enough. Damn it. That's annoying. Uh... God damn it, really? Stop, 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 stop the train, stop the train, stop the train. All right, I'm going to get out, and you are going to go to it. You're going to go to that station. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we've made this a little bit too short, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I think we're going to have to make some adjustments, which kind of sucks, but hey-ho, that's all right. Yeah, I think gonna have to do something like that yeah I don't know if that's gonna mess the train up turns out no it's not gonna mess the train up yeah that's good actually that's really good perfect all right I'm really really happy with that that seemed to work out just perfectly we've made it a little bit too long but am I worried no I am not worried by this let's get the f5 view out so that we can actually see what the heck is going on uh, we're probably going to need more fast inserters than that, but hey-ho. Four, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, except that's not how we're going to do it. Except that is how we're going to do it. Except that's not how we're going to do it. We want one, two, three, four, five, and then we take out the middle one. I think that works as a better, a better system. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I mean, it's one of those things that doesn't really make that much of a difference, but it can make a difference. All right, is that, that's four on each carriage with a gap of one in the middle. Yes, I think that should be fine. All right, so next thing's next. Steel chests so that we can buffer everything. We do not want to be losing any little inch of production at all or any little inch of train time or you know iron going round and round and round and round and round the circuit is bloody useless for us right it really really is top-notch useless we're gonna need a little bit more iron because we're gonna need a few more fast inserters we're gonna need 16 fast inserters okay there we go all right we are going to be powering this all up very very soon indeed but i thought you know what let's just get the the stuff that we need to get done out of the way first Perfect. There we go. And then we're going to need to belt this all the way up to the main area up there. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay. It is a little bit space inefficient, but let's face it, we're fine. We can always reclaim a little bit of extra space should we need to. That can go there, that can go there, that can go there, and there. Let's get more lights. I like this this convention that we've got going on. Go there, and that can go there. All right, perfect. 
13 objects are being damaged by the enemy. I don't know how much ammo we've got up there. Like, two turrets are engaged with the enemy. That tells me that one turret has run out of ammo. So, that needs to be a top priority for us to fix. It really, really does. Let's get some medium electric poles. Thank God we managed to fix that issue. I have a feeling that I'm going to need a little bit more steel, so I'm going to go down here and steal a little more steel. Except it's not stealing because I own all the stuff on this island anyway, so who cares? Alright, pop that down there, that down there. Yeah, let's just do, do something like this. Yeah, that seems to work out pretty darned nicely. All we need to do is connect it to the main power network now, and we're golden. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Fantastic. So... I'm thinking that we're just going to, you know, straight away, straight away, implement a system that is using only red belt. That's my plan, right? An only red belt system. Because I think with the speed that these guys are unloading, we're going to need to make sure that all of the resources are carried away as quickly as possible. That's the wrong place. Yes, that's fine. I mean, it's a little bit uneven, but, you know, you'll always get that with trains because they don't perfectly match up. I suppose we could move this all down by one if we wanted to, but let me tell you, I really don't want to. I really do not want to. All right, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to merge these two belts onto one belt. There we go, like so. And we're going to merge these two belts onto, in fact should probably do this, right? So that you go like that, and then you go like this. And then we've got two belts full of iron that we'll just be able to go right up here and join up in some weird and wonderful way to that area up there. I mean, that's that's the crux of the, the whole situation. I mean, it seems like that would work. I don't see anything that would uh, disprove that theory of it actually working. It looks, it looks pretty legit to me. I don't know about you folks, but it looks pretty darn legit to me. Alright. Let's go and actually see what's going on up there. I don't like how we've got uh, an issue over there, so to speak. It's not very, not very good. Pick you up. Put you down. And give you some coal. I was thinking, what can we use as fuel? Oh, maybe maybe some of this, uh, you know, million tons of coal that we've actually got just kicking around. Yeah, one of the turrets is indeed out of ammo. What a guy. I managed to, to guess that. Fantastic, I know, right? Well, at least... At least this stuff is doing its job. I mean, it is taking a heavy pounding. It really, really is. And that's why we want robots, because we want robots to be able to say, Hey, I want you to repair this stuff, and they'll just repair it. Because they're robots, and they can't do anything else. They gotta do that. They gotta... They just gotta do what I say. I mean, that's the whole definition of a computer. Computers are stupid, until you tell them what to do. And then they do whatever they do quite well, apparently. I don't know. I'm just I'm blabbering now, but hey-ho. Alright, 16 ammo. Let's give you 100 ammo. There we go. Armor piercing rounds as well, so it's a big commitment that we're giving you there, buddy. All right, let's head back to base. Let's see what we can find. Okay, let's not crash the train, potato. It's fine. It doesn't matter where we get off, but yeah, there, that's fine. That's good. All right, let's keep on extending this belt up here, and um, because I want to make sure that we merge it in in an appropriate manner. It's not how it's going to be. Trust me, it'll be a little bit more elegant than that. Alright, so, how are we going to do this? Ideally, we want to merge it onto two belts over here. Which means we're going to need a couple of splitters for that. Yeah, we're going to need a couple of splitters for that. Let's just repair that chest while I've still got the, uh, the repair packs on me. Might as well. You know, live dangerously and all that. Look at how much copper we've got coming in. Holy cow. That is quite a sight for sore eyes. Alright, we're just going to absolutely starve this belt for a little bit. Not like it makes much of a difference. Uh, we need the iron anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's make some fast splitters now. 
Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to... I mean... Probably split both belt off. I would imagine. Hmm. Let's give this a shot. Yeah, we'll see if this works. If it doesn't work... Meh, doesn't really make that much of a difference, does it? We just go back to the drawing board and uh, and try again. But I'm just trying to make a system that ensures we have, you know, sort of uh, an even distribution of, uh, of iron that's actually going onto the belt. That's, I don't want it to be like that. I don't want it to be like that either. Hmm. Ideally, right, I'd like to put a splitter in right here. And just join that up there. But that isn't what I want to do. It's not going to fit. I mean, we can work around this. Let's build a belt there. Build an underground belt here. Um... Like, no, that won't actually work around this. Huh. All right. We got ourselves a little bit of a, a, a problem-solving solution that we need to, to come up with. So this this has got to go here, right? That's got to go there like that. And this has got to go here like that. I mean, I know it looks untidy, but who cares? Let's just assume that it's, it's, it's workable. We've got to have this that comes out there. We've got to have underground belt. That goes up there like so. And this needs to come around. Could probably come around onto that belt. I don't think it makes that much of a difference anyway, but whatever. So how do we get how do we get coal onto the on, how do we get coal onto this belt over here? That's the real question. That is the real question. Is it even possible? Let's uh let's try doing this. Does coal go onto that belt still? Coal still goes onto that belt. Perfect. We're sorted then. We have no need to worry about anything. In fact, all we need to do is stick that up there. All right. We seem to be having semi coal shortages, which is uh, which is not really on, I'm afraid. There we go. Just add a little bit more coal to the line. They can be at either side of the belt. It doesn't really make a difference. We just need to make sure that the furnaces have enough coal and. We want to make that sustainable, of course. But yeah, I think this system should work. It's not the most pretty. It's not the most beautiful. Uh, we could probably get around that by sticking in a splitter right there. That would help things just filter through. But I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference overall. Uh, in addition to that, we are going to need some splitters. We're going to need some more splitters. My goodness, more splitters. Splitters for days. Splitters for absolute days. Okay, I think we're only going to need two more splitters, but I'll take a fair amount of resources with me, uh, just in case. We are going to extend this furnace area, by the way. It's just there's no point in extending it right now if we don't have the resources to do so. Um, so that's going to connect up there. And then we're going to put this belt through there. I mean, is there a way to avoid that? Is there a way to avoid that? I mean, could we, for example, stick that in there like that and make this belt come out here? I mean, it's a bit zoomed in, haven't I? Yeah, so we only had one corner. I mean, that would look pretty cool. Is that feasible to actually work, though? Is is that going to work? Yeah, that that's, uh, that's a nice little system that we've got there. Holy cow. Don't think it's going to work, though. Because this underground belt needs to be moved over by one. All right, well, we can do that via splitter. Wow, this is like the most complex thing that I've ever tried to do. I mean, just making sure that we get something that's balanced is uh, is quite challenging. I need more underground belt. Are you kidding me? More underground red belt? I mean, need more iron for that? Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm six pieces of iron off or whatever. It should be more than enough, yeah. Okay, let's let's try and see if this works. 
I'm kind of hopeful, you know? I'm kind of hopeful. I really am. I really, really am. Okay, so that goes under there. That goes under there. Pick that up. No, it's good. it would need to be moved over by another one. I mean, it's not impossible. This okay. This is this is rapidly this is rapidly getting very complex beyond uh, my level of understanding. However, I think I you know something something inside me is telling me, potato, keep on going. You're close. You're close to getting this solution that you're after. I think we need more iron, obviously. I'll take all of this. I'll take all the irons, thanks. All of it. All right. You know, this game is half problem solving, half having fun, and the other half just scratching your head. It really, it really, really is. Uh, since we're over here, let's uh, let's give all these bad boys a little bit more coal. I mean, we've got 1,500 coal on us. We might as well. It's quite a lot. All right. Okay, so we're going to have to move this belt over by one because we're going to need to put a splitter in here so that the iron can join the belt, right? So that's that splitter going in there. This bit needs to be underground because we need to have... That's backwards, but you get the picture. Uh, and then this bit needs to come up like so under there. And I don't think that's going to be possible because, let's face it, we've got a splitter that needs to go there, right? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to undergroundify all of this bit of track. And then we don't actually need to use an underground piece of track over there, but we can just stick it straight into that splitter. I mean, woof. Woof. That is complex. That is real complex. I mean, my oh my oh my. My oh my oh my. And we haven't even built this part yet, because we're going to still have to, on this bit here, we're going to have to build another one of these. Um, this is a, a temporary measure, very, very much so. Uh, we're going to have to stick that over here somewhere. And that's going to be that's gonna be crazy. Also, in addition to that, we're going to have to link in uh, the, the resources from this track. So imagine we have this entire setup on this side. We'll probably get rid of this stuff. Uh, and then we ship it all over here. And we've got a setup similar to this, where we've got one on one side, one on the other side. Filter it through, and then it rejoins the main track, and then it rejoins the system. That's quite complex. I quite like it, though. I quite like it. I really, really do. I mean, this setup, I think, works. If there's anything that anybody can see that is somewhat bad about it, then please tell me, because I would love to know, and I want to make sure that this system works as, uh, as well as possible. But uh, I think it's pretty good. So, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato, and I will see you next time. Bye.